Welcome to Dilla's Fashion. On today's video, I'm making a high low flare. I personally love this style because if you're not really into normal flare, you could spice things up and make it a high low flare. You could basically make this into a gown. You could make it as a skirt. You could attach it to sleeves. Make it as cape. It really just depends on you. And on this video, we're going to be doing that. So let's get right into the video. So what I did was to fold the pattern paper in half in two and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it in quarters that is in four. So we're going to take all our measurements from the point where it is folded, that is the midline. The first measurement we're going to put down is the waist of the skirt, gown, whatever it is. You're just going to take in the waist measurement, not really the waist because this could be attached to the sleeve also. But the measurements of where you'll be attaching it to, if it's the waist, if it's the sleeve, whatever. And you're going to divide it by 4 because this pattern paper is divided by 4. And you're going to add your allowance and you're going to just put that down at the corner there. Form the shape of a quarter of a circle and just put it down. Next thing I'm doing is I'm taking the length of the low flare which is nine inches but i added one inch allowance and i'm just going to mark that from the circle the quarter of the circle that we drew earlier so i'm taking 10 inches each from that quarter circle we took earlier i would also like to mention that this is a 360 flay so it's going to be very full Now we're done making the basic flare pattern, we can now cut this into a high low flare and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this and label the front and the back so we don't get confused. Now we're going to fold this in a way where we can see the front and the back pattern just like that and would we'll make the front pattern shorter and match it with the back pattern. F over there is the front and B is the back and there's a midline demarcating both of them. Now I'm going to take the measurements of the high part of the flare and I'm taking 5 inches and 1 inch allowance which is 6 inches and I'm just going to mark that down there and I'm going to take the value that is in between the 6 inches that we just took and 10 inches we took earlier for the low flare just so it could form like a an accurate kind of circle that just blends together and I'm taking 8 inches at that point 
so i'm going to connect six inches with eight inches with ten inches So after trimming that out you could already see how the front pattern is shorter than the back pattern and yes that is your high low flare thank you so much for watching this video till the end please don't forget to like subscribe turn on your bell notification so you get notified each time i post i post at least once every week thank you and see you in my next video